blah 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 and 15% physical vamp and yeah 15% magic vamp so it's a life steal item harmonic echo I've never seen this one before uh, moving and casting abilities builds harmony at 100 harmony your next healing or shielding so this is another support item restores health wow some of these are OP I feel like these mage supports are gonna be disgusting I'm, not, I'm pretty sure this is another uh, support item. Source 30% of supreme mitigation damage dealt to champions as blood. Cat that that. Healing or shielding an ally consumes all blood to heal them. Crazy. What is this one? This was the new item they're talking about, I think. Was it? Uh, 65 ability power, mana, cooldown reduction. Unique takedowns reduce the cooldown of your ultimate by 3%, capping at 15%. Wow, it reduces, so if you want to spam your ult, like Oriana, I guess, um, this is a really good item. Infinity Orb, uh, this is like a pen item, pretty sure. Abilities crit for 20% bonus damage against enemies below 35% health, wow. We don't have to look through these. You can just get, like, the gist of what they are by looking at them, you can pause and see. Uh, what these, like, build up mid-tier items are. But yeah, a lot of these items are really cool. A lot of depth in them. Death cap is just still that disgusting. Oh, okay, he's going fast here. So these are like the tank items. So if you're playing support or a tanky like sideliner like Malphite or something, you can use these. Guardian Angel, attack armor. Upon taking lethal damage, restores 50% base health and 30% mana. That's OP. Sunfire Cape, very good tank item. Uh, 400 health, armor. Heals 25, so this is uh, basically uh, Mental Rock. Yeah, Mental Rock. Spirit Vicious, I'm pretty sure this is just like uh, Gaia Standard. Yeah. Health Regen, 100% Health Regen. What? 350, Max Health, uh, Magic Resist, yeah, cooldown. With cooldown to increase all healing regen by yourself 30%. Yep. Uh, Randuin's Omen, 400 Max Health. 50 armor reduces damage from critical strike by 15%. Really good against like AD champs that are just want to crit the entire game. This is just like uh, male pain, I believe. Wait, oh, too fast. Thorn male. Uh, being hit by an attack reflects, yeah, 25 magic damage, 10% uh, bonus with some grievous wounds. So this actually reduces healing and also uh, does magic damage to them if they are, yeah, hitting them. Frozen Mallet, this is a really good like combo item, so damage, a lot of health, attack slow enemies by, so it's a uh, Frostscape, basically Frostscape, yep. Warmog's Armor, a uh, ton of health, ton of healing, if you have at least 2,500 health, restore 5% health per second, wow, so out of combat, this is like that healing item in AOV, disgusting amount of health, disgusting amount of heal regen, Stark's Gauge, this is what is this? Okay, so just straight health. 50% base attack damage only applies to melee champions. Damage that puts you under 35% health grants a shield equal to... Okay, that's pretty cool. Iceborne Gauntlet. This is actually used on Ezreal, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you want to go like a little bit tanky. Just because of that mana and cooldown reduction. Using an ability causes the next attack to deal bonus physical damage. Yep. Icy feel for two seconds it slows, so it's a slowing item. A lot of slowing like tank items, man. That's gonna be annoying to play against. Dead Man's Plate, 300 health, armor, moving builds momentum, granting a max stack. Attacks expand all momentum. Melee attacks that expand momentum, also slow. Yeah, I feel like building kind of like bruisers are gonna be really good in this game. These bruiser items look OP. Adaptive Helm, what was that? I wanna, see, I wanna see all these passives. Taking magic damage reduces all magic damage from that same ability or effect. So really good against like pokey, uh, is that a word, poke? Like poke magic damage. Abyssal Mask, 300 max health, really good magic resistance, mana, just a ton of stats in these items. You'll notice some of these have a ton of like combo stats. Restore mana equal to 50% of the damage taken from champs, regen, health, yeah, so mana and health item. This is a support item. Zeke's Convergence. You can see straight support. 
Casting your ultimate surrounds you with a blizzard and ignites a nearby allies' attacks for 10 seconds. Your blizzard slows enemies by 20% and your allies' attacks burn them. So really good for huge ultimates like Blitz Ultimate or Braum Ultimate. I think this is new. Yeah, Protector's Vow might be. Raise your guard when next to an allied champion. If you are an allied, take damage from a champion monster turret. Both of you receive a shield, just a basic shielding item with health, armor, cooldown. What is this one? Winter's Approach. Grants armor equal to mana. Okay, so instead of just doing magic damage for mana, it's armor for mana. Then you can see the mid-tier items. That's like the... That's health, that's armor. I mean, that's health too. Wait, yeah, that's armor. I don't really know all these. I, I basically know them. You know, basically. I want to see the boots. I'm actually kind of excited to see the boots. I haven't seen them yet. So, Gluttonous Griefs. This is not in, I'm pretty sure. Uh, move speed plus physical damage ban. So, this is a lifesteal boot item. What? Increases move speed. Like, okay. Yeah, a lifesteal boots item. That's kind of interesting. Boots of Swiftness, 50% uh, move speed. Move speed slows reduced by 30%. Increased move speed. Good for supports or just people that want to be pretty fast. Mercury Tread, this is like Gilded Greaves. Stops, uh, yeah, reduces the duration of stuns and slows by 30%. This will be used by a lot of people. Ninja Tabai, this is basically the armor. Uh, boot blocks 10% of all, yeah, bit damage from attacks. And then this is a cooldown reduction boot. So we have, what was this? The lifesteal, the like movement speed one, Merc treads like uh, against magic damage and um, stuns and stuff, armor boot, and this is the cooldown boot. Really interesting. And then the enchantments. So you upgrade your boots into these enchantments. Thank God Sonya's is a thousand gold. I was predicting this to be OP if it was um, 500 gold. And Teleport is a boot? Wait, 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 wait. Teleport is a boot um, upgrade. That's crazy. I didn't know that. So, you can have Teleport... Okay, yeah. A lot of top laners are going to have to make a big decision on what they want. And I think a lot of them will pick Teleport as their boot upgrade. Sonya's uh, is basically like RP Orb. Does it give... Yeah, it doesn't... Does it give any stats? No, so these don't give any stats, they're just the active. So a thousand gold for an act, just for an arctic orb, that's a lot. It's a lot to spend on. This, uh, shield yourself and a nearby ally, that's all it is. Uh, gain 15% move speed for 4 seconds, so this is like Ring of Fiend. A uh, Protobel, it's just a dash that does magic damage. Quicksilver, oh, that this is just a purify, another purify. Increases your health by 40% while reducing damage dealt by 60%. Wow. If you just want to be super tanky in a fight and they're targeting you, use this, you're just unkillable. Redeeming Enchant, this is the one that like calls down the big circle that heals everyone in the area. Yep. Enemies take 10% of their max health as true damage, so this heals and also damages enemies. What, did, what was this one? I want to see the shadow one, actually. Uh, summons two ghosts that seek out... Okay, so they have the ghosts that seek out champions on contact. So just any champions, enemy champions around you will be revealed and slowed. Kind of OP if you're checking for vision. Say you want to see if they're on Baron or something, you send out these ghosts. It will slow them, and you'll see that they're actually there. And then we have teleport. A thousand gold for teleport. Yep. So teleport is not like an upgrade to boots. That's really interesting. I think he's going to go into the basic spells. Ghost is just a sprint speed. Uh, heal, we all know heal. A lot of AD, like um, ADCs will be using heal. Barrier, just a shield. Exhaust, so a lot of players aren't familiar with this. It reduces a champion's movement speed and their damage dealt by 40%. Very good in team fights if you want to shut someone down. I feel like the audio quality just got really bad. Flash, everyone knows Flash. Ignite, so this is used by a lot of people in the mid lane. Uh, it just does true damage and burns them over time with true damage. And it also um, reduces their healing, like any life steal and stuff too. So if you have an ADC like killing you and their life stealing like crazy, just ignite them in the beginning so they, they stop life stealing. And smite, 
Yeah, I just might. I think he's gonna go to the runes now. Okay, we're gonna go over these runes. Hitting an enemy champion with three separate attacks or abilities in three seconds deals bonus adaptive damage. So it's like the um, curse of death in Arena of Valor if you're used to that. But you'll just hit if you hit a champion with say one ability and auto attack and another ability, it just does a burst of jam damage, either AD or magic damage. All right, and now we're on to Aerie. Your attacks and abilities send Aerie to a target, damaging enemies or shielding allies. So this can be used as a support item or to just poke. Let's get to Conqueror. This is really good for champions that want to be auto attacking a lot. I wouldn't use this on like a, um, a marksman though. Gain stacks of adaptive force when hitting a champion. A separate attacks or ability stacks up to five times with fully stacks. Uh, deal bonus that damage to a champion. So the more you auto, it's gonna build up and then you're gonna do extra damage for autoing. That's basically it. Fleet of footwork we have. This is really good for Jin. I keep saying Jin, but he's like specifically good for a lot of these. Uh, moving and attacking and casting builds energy stacks. At 100 stacks, your next attack heals you. So this might be good for Yasuo too. And grants movement speed. Yeah, increase movement speed, heal. So, yep. Moving and attacking will just stack up that 100% stacks. And then you can just do one big burst of damage, like one big auto after building that up. Grasp of the Undying. Every four seconds in combat, your next attack on a champion will be enhanced based on your max health. For, so for a tanky like bruisers, this item's gonna be really good. Heal 2% of your max health. Yeah, just really good tank item. Also another good tank item is Aftershock. After immobilizing an enemy champion, like stunning them, knocking them up, you gain defenses and later deal a burst of magic damage around you. Very good for engaging. Then we have Font of Life, impairing the movement of an enemy Champion marks them. Allies who attack mark champions heal based on your max health. Very good for um, CC like bot, you know, supports that just want to keep CCing people. You just heal them too, heal your allies. Kleptomancy, so this is interesting. I think this will be used on Ezreal. It was used on Ezreal until it was taken out of, uh, out of League of Legends. After using an ability, your next ability hit or attack on an enemy champion will grant you a random item effect. A random item effect? So like, what does that mean? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what this means. Does that mean like one of these runes? Or does it give you um, like one of the active items? Yeah, a random item effect. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to go look that up and see what that actually is. Or it might be different than League. And now we have the domination runes. Brutal gain AD, armor penetration. Penetration. I'm not gonna go through all of these because they're basically they're not too crazy. I, I mean we can just go through them. Uh gain AD, AP, physical vamp. So this is a lifesteal item. This is really important. A lot of people will be using triumph. Uh, after killing an enemy, restore 10% missing health, deal 3% more damage to enemies below uh, yeah, 35%. Really good for dueling. Oh, what was weakness and stuff? Let me go back to this real quick. We can scroll through all these big ones again. Kleptomancy, man, that's a random buff. That's like so weird. It's like uh, it's a lottery when you're playing. I don't know if you want to play like a lottery <laughs> while you're while you're fighting people. Like, ooh, am I, am I gonna get the good one this time? Like, it's just really lucky. Impairing the movement of enemy champions makes them take five percent uh, more damage. That's actually really good. Gain ten percent damage against champions. Lose five percent each time you die until the bonus disappears. What? That's a really high risk uh, rune right there. All right, resolve rune, backbone, uh, AR, MR, okay, armor resist, magic resist, based on whatever stat you have less, less of. That's pretty good. Conditioning gain, um, yeah, just more armor. Gain max health, unique champion takedowns, grant max health. So more tanky heroes when I use that. Every three seconds, regen two percent missing health or mana. That's really good if you want to last in lane, like top lane. I would recommend that actually. 
This is the 100. This was in the game, just so people still do a lane. 100. percent That's why this is in the game. You uh, gain. What is that? Armor resist and magic resist. So it's so weird seeing an R next to it. I don't know why. So armor and magic resist if you're close to the ally champion. And this stacks, so you guys can get four and ten. Um, gain 50% max health. I mean not 50%. Just gain 50 max health and 20% slow resistance. So you can get slow with this. This is really good if you just don't want to be slowed. Inspiration gain 8% movement speed in brush jungle. So good for ganks. Mastermind still 10%. Bonus true damage to epic monsters and turrets. True damage against turrets? What? Earn extra 100 gold and 500. Okay. So if you want to like take objectives and destroy turrets, so like Fiora for example, this will be really OP on. So she can just take out a turret in like two seconds with a 10% true damage to turrets. Uh, gain 2.5% cooldown reduction. Unique champion takedowns grant 1.5% cooldown reduction. Okay. This is the item that uh, will ruin that gives you extra healing and gold from honey fruit. Oh wait, oh too fast. We'll look through them again. All the resolve stuff too. I want to see these last two ones. Damn, he went through them pretty fast. Okay, so pack hunter. Near ally champions gain 2% movement speed for each unique ally you gain this gold. Okay, so there's extra gold for everyone around you Hitting an enemy champion with an ability empowered attack uh, Permanently increases your mana. So if you guys need mana heavy mana champions, there's a lot for that in this game and I think that's it. So if you guys enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment on your thoughts on some of these items which ones you think are going to be op and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video